homosexual makes up 5 to 10 percent of youth population but they make up 20 percent to 40 percent of homeless youth populations which estimate to 1.6 million to 28 million kids in the USA. Today I went down to the pier to seek out anything about LGBT homeless youth. I met Terry Ann Milkshake, was happy to share her story and the kids down the pier call her auntie. How long have you been out here? Um, many years, many years, since I was about 16. Do you hang around the pier a lot? Oh yeah. Are you currently homeless? Um, in a way, yes, but you know, I try not to let that get to me. I went down to Union Square to ask young kids about their opinions on LGBT home and youth. How you doing, man? I'm Power One V. There are about 3,800 homeless youth on the street every night. Um, I believe in the LBGT community, there are about, how can you say, 1,800. And that was like in 2008, so the numbers today must be shocking. I know for a fact that back a couple of de decades ago, they started taking out a lot of the homeless shelters in the city, which was completely unnecessary because they never had any reasoning for that. So for homosexuality to even play a role in that is just far out and should not even be do you see a lot of um homeless youth around here oh yeah it's it's starting to um migrate more because the younger they come out they feel as though that their families are not going to accept them for who they are. So they come down here to basically feel wanted from the other peers that's around them. Uh, my situation is good with my family. They are very accepting, but sometimes they don't tolerate it because you know I like to come dressed the way I want to dress and just be who I want to be. There's many children being kicked out, forced out of their house due to their sexual identity. Kids that do not feel comfortable. It doesn't matter what you are, what kind of you know sexuality you are. You could be a man, female, whatever. If you're a man that turns into a female, a female that turns into a man, I don't think you should be judged on that. You know, the Union Square is a place of, how can you say, variety of people who decide to do what they want to do, you know? So I believe it is one of the safe havens for people in the LBGT community. I think that your, like, sexuality shouldn't be considered when a homeless shelter is, like, taking you in because it's really nothing you can change, so you shouldn't be at fault for that. How is the culture of the PA changing from when you first started out here to now? Oh wow, it's changing a lot. It's changing a lot. Because it's like year after year, it gets different. It, it's just populating, it's getting more and more throughout the years. I knew that I was different than a lot of people and I had a different mind frame on who I wanted to be. So as I was growing up, I, I really didn't have that much of a problem with people, but I did have a problem with how people think of me.